today we're looking at the top five Dallas suburbs. Now the ranking that we're gonna use is according to me. However, if you speak to any local Dallas Fort Worth resident, they're not gonna find too much room for error. They're not gonna really push back and disagree all that much. Now each city that we're gonna feature today made it on this list for a multitude of reasons. But the one commonality that every single one of these cities has is the incredible school system. And I'm calling this out specifically because that's the number one thing that home buyers look for is an incredible school system. So trust that each one of these cities that we're gonna look at today will educate your kids incredibly well. So before we get into the countdown, I wanna welcome you to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel. My name is Jaime Resendez. I'm a realtor and team leader. It will help you make money in real estate whether you're buying or selling. All right, so number five, Flower Mound. Flower Mound is on the northern side of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex in about 35 minutes from downtown Dallas. Flower Mound is one of those quiet neighborhood cities that is perfect for families, has plenty of things to do out in nature, and really is one of the best places that you can live if you're trying to raise a family. In fact, what makes Flower Mound incredibly hard to beat when you're looking at other cities is that it neighbors Grapevine Lake. So if you love recreation on the water, it's incredibly hard to beat. And something that Flower Mound is incredibly underrated on is the amount of restaurants that you can find in the city. You're gonna find any type of cuisine that you want and the wait times are drastically different than the ones that you can expect in Dallas. And when it comes to the average home prices in Flower Mound, you're looking at about $625,000. At number four, we have the city of Plano. Now Plano is directly north of Dallas and it's gonna take you about 25 minutes to get to downtown and Plano is one of those cities that's gonna make any top suburbs list anywhere. It's one of those cities that everybody loves. In fact, it regularly makes the top cities list in the entire state. And that's because of the excellent school system, the low crime rate, the ability to get to pretty much anywhere in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex in a relatively short amount of time. It's just one of those cities that people that live in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex would love to live in. You're gonna have some great shopping, some great restaurants, and also plenty of recreation to go around. And when it comes to the average home values in Plano, you're looking at about $542,000. And number three, I have to give it to Frisco, which is one of the fastest growing cities in the country. Frisco's on the northern part of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, which takes about 35 minutes to get to downtown Dallas. And at this point, Frisco has become a leading hub for entertainment. It's home to FC Dallas, and it's also where the Dallas Cowboys have the star, which is the Cowboys training facility. And not only is Frisco a place for entertainment, it's also an incredible place to advance your career. Given that there's almost 10 Fortune 500 companies that have headquarters in Frisco. And as far as recreation, you're gonna find every type of park, every type of hiking trail, every type of attraction that you can think of. And when it comes to the average home values, you're looking at over $700,000. It's actually one of the cities that had the the highest appreciation in the entire DFW Metroplex. And number two, I have to give it to Allen, Texas. Allen is located just north of Plano and it takes about 35 minutes to get to downtown Dallas. It's one of those cities that I feel goes under the radar because it is dwarfed by two incredible cities. On the north side, you have McKinney and on the south side, Allen has Plano. And both of those cities are incredible places to live. However, that leaves a huge opportunity in Allen. And if you're thinking, man, I feel like I've heard of Allen before, then it's probably because 10 years ago, Allen opened up one of the largest, most expensive high school stadiums in the country. But when you're not watching the Eagles winning state every other year, you can go on hundreds upon hundreds of hiking trails or go to all of the parks that Allen has to offer. And also a lot of recreation that you're not going to find in many other cities. It's one of those cities that puts on a lot of public events for its citizens to enjoy. And one of the big reasons that I put Allen at number two is because the home values are still relatively attainable, at least in comparison to its neighbors, given that the average home value is still under $550,000. And the top spot goes to Coppell, Texas. Coppell is right smack in the middle of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and takes about 25 minutes to get to downtown Dallas. And very similar to Plano, Coppell will make any top list anywhere. It doesn't matter who's creating it, Coppell will find a spot. Coppell is one of those cities
cities that has a low crime rate, has an incredible school system, and that anybody in the DFW area would love to live in. One of Coppell's superpowers is its proximity to everything. It neighbors the airport and is surrounded by interstate highways that'll take you anywhere in the Metroplex, which makes it very coveted for big name companies and also a ton of executives that need that proximity to the airport and to other cities that they may be working in. So that's why Coppell, even though it's the smallest city that we are featuring today, packs quite a punch. And when it comes to the average home values in Coppell, you're looking at about $605,000. Now, regardless of the city that you go with, understand that each one of these will provide you access to an incredible quality of life. Now, if you're looking for a more personalized breakdown, feel free to reach out. My information is in the description.